Hello, and uh, welcome to another Java tutorial. Today, we will be looking at um, getting a uh, reading in a file and turning it to a string, or reading it as a string. Uh, so today, uh, we'll I'll do just that. It's pretty simple. I, I mean, it, it it is. So it's it's using the uh, reading. Uh, slash writing thing that we've been that I went with last that I did last couple of, I don't know how long ago with that a couple of videos ago I'll put an annotation if, um, somewhere on this video and in the description if you'd like to check it out because it is involved in the program I'm making now so let's start uh, so let me just have the necessary imports uh, import java dot util dot well actually I don't need, need to do that but anyway it's good this is the specific one that we want from the java dot util library uh, the scanning import and uh, let's see I also want no that's it so let's see I named it uh, string uh, fl uh, or just string from file, I don't know. And as you already know, you need the public, the class file needs to be the same name as the .java file. Uh, so, strfl public static void main string. There we are. Now we can start the program. Uh, well, actually, we need uh, the scanning function. So scanner uh, user user input equals user is equals new scanner system. There we go. Okay, so just in case you didn't know, um, I'm creating a new scanning function called user input that scans user input. Uh, what you know what the user types in um, and uh, I can put that to like a string or something <clears throat> so so the goal today is to have it so that the user either types yes or no it will print out to a text file called yes or no dot txt and it will check um, whether or not it will read in the the yes or no dot txt it will check if it equals yes or no and ignore capitals of course and if it doesn't equal yes or no then it'll just like say nah, please you know just redo this until you actually type yes or no and if it ta if you type yes uh, successfully and then it'll say you type yes if you typed no then it'll say you type no uh, but it's not like just saying it's not just printing out what the user typed from the string, it's actually just reading in the file and using the contents as a string. Um, yes, so I'm gonna do con equals new integer equals one. Uh, oops. While con equals one, and then we do our program. Now I'm gonna create a new string. I called it, called it user i. I'm gonna have it so that it says system dot out dot print. Uh, so I'm gonna have it so that it says type. And just easy to know, backslash uh, quote uh, the quote quote marks means that it will print out the quote marks. Because uh, if you notice that if you have multiple quote marks, it like section it splits up. Uh, so if I were to do this. As you notice, what's in there, it's not within the quotes anymore. But if I do slash uh, quotation marks, it will actually print out the quotation marks. So type um, yes or no. <clears throat> there we are. And remember, I'm doing print because I want the user to type on the same line that this is on. If I did, remember, if I did print 
line, it would be the same as pressing return after printing type yes or no. So now let me just attach the user input to a string. So user i equals user input dot next. There we go. So the dot next, you know, like after the user presses enter, then it will, you know, confirm that the user typed this in and put it into the string so that we can use it. So um, now let me just kind of write this out. So it will only actually I take this back. I think I'm going to have it so that if it only uh, if it only prints out if the user types yes or no, then print it out and then confirm what the user said instead of comparing it within the text file because that would just be a little bit more complicated and a little bit longer than I kind of want this. So user i dot equals user i dot equals ignore case yes so what this does is that if the if the string user i equals yes whether or not there's capitals or not it will uh, do this or remember you need oops two or sorry or user i dot equals ignore case nope then um, right after the file so you it's a file writer <coughs> out or whatever the f hell you want it equals new file writer I'm gonna call it yes or no dot text there we are and um, you can do this like true uh, true ugh, why can't I type true true if you did true then it would add to the file if you ju just just do if you don't do that then it'll just overwrite the file uh, which is what we want. We don't want like a bajillion. We don't want to record what this user is saying, like multiple uses. So we're going to do buffered writer stream alt stream equals new buffered writer, and it's going to be using out file. So there we go. So out stream dot write. It's gonna be writing use the what this the string user i and uh, and it's, that's gonna be it. Now I just want to close it. Close the string so it's not printing out anymore. Perfect. So now let's read in the file and figure out what the user actually said. So uh, I'm gonna do file name equals uh, because it's going to be reading in the file name instead of just putting it in there I can just like change the value of the string give me yes or new dot txt why did I just do that okay now let's read it um string I'm going to call it uh, read I don't know read f I don't know um equals new scanner new file and it's going to be the uh, file name so I don't have to constantly write that remember you can just do that you just have a if you if you have a um, file that if you want to read a file that could possibly change in the future just put it to a string so you don't have to like manually type it in just um, into all your code if it's all if like you have like 20 bajillion lines that are reading off uh, like a s file name just you know just put it there it works much better so dot uh, use delimiter ah there we go oops spell it wrong I think I oops I think I sp I hope I spelled that right uh well, I guess I'll, we'll all know that I spelled it right or wrong, depending on, you know. 
Why not I get an error somewhere? Oh, I said type user, didn't I? Well, see, always check your work. String, um, I don't know, read F2, I don't know, um, equals read F. There we go. Another string. Um, if read f2 dot equals ignore case yes then let's say uh, oh uh, you typed yes yeah let's do that out stop print line you typed yes exclamation point of course Else system dot print line you typed no uh unhappy face <sighs> okay okay and now oh uh I should probably do this so that it closes it return so that this would cancel the while statement. <clears throat> I'm trying to think that's geez, and that's not a good way of don't ever do this. Ever, please. Um compile. Assuming the error. Assuming the error. Assuming the error. Yes. Yes, there's an error. Oh, yep. Put two A's there. Yep. Silly me. Oh, and there's another thing. What's wrong here? Must be oh <laughs> Okay, so the one thing I forgot, I forgot to throw an exception. There you go. Throws IO exception, I'm sorry, being picky. And I put in, ugh, damn capitals. There we go, jeez, and that took longer than it probably should have. So let's uh, check this, check this bad boy out, run this. Uh, yes. You typed yes. Okay, cool. Now let's re reset interaction. No. Ah, I typed no. And if you were to check yes or no dot txt, here it is. Uh, yes, it wrote it out to a file, read it in, and, uh, you know, did cool stuff. So there we go. Perfect. It works. If you, uh, if this helped and learned something from this video, you know, give me a like, and if you want to see more videos, please subscribe, it would be really well appreciated. And, uh, also, uh, you can, um, recommend future videos, whether it's a GUI program, or, or you're just curious about, like, oh, how do you do this or that, I'll be, uh, glad to do that. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll, uh, see you next time.